Hello and welcome to Fender Play Live, or FPL for short, or as I like to call it, Fipple. Anyway, I'm Eugene Edwards, I'm your host, and we're, today we're talking about hammer-ons and pull-offs, which are really fundamental techniques to, to becoming a, a much more lyrical player. And um, we want to get you guys up and running on these, or if you already know uh, how to do them, we're going to show you some really cool things to do with them later in the show. Uh, helping us today, and by the way, this applies to all levels, and it applies to both electric and acoustic guitars, believe us, and we'll demonstrate both. Uh, so everyone... Come on in, uh, no matter the genre. So helping us with today's topic is an FPL returning champion, yes. Taylor Gamble. Taylor, say hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Taylor, uh, now, uh, and we're also joined by, uh, you, you'll remember this guy, Taylor, because yeah. it's just so hard to forget him, Dr. Dylan Calajuri. Yeah. Dylan. Hello, hello world. Hello, planet Earth. Thank Yay. you. Thank you for having me, Fipple. Thank you. Uh, Fipple, that's right. Um, so uh, listen, I want to say that Taylor is a guitarist who has played with artists like Ari Lennox, Anthony Brown, and a guy that some of us have heard of named Stevie Wonder. Oh. And uh, she was also on the show Alter Ego. And and we're really excited to say she's a Fender Play instructor. Yay. So um, mm -hmm. so she's she's well qualified to lead us through this this uh, this technique here. Uh, now Taylor, tell us tell us what you're playing there today, and and show it off for us, please. Um, I have a Fender Ultra. Um, now mind you, this is a Sunburst Ultra. What was the red? You said it was a red. Plasma. <laughs> plasma. Burst. I was like, is that what they plasma said red. earlier? Plasma. Yes. Plasma burst red. Is so pretty. Yeah. It matches my lips. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Very well done. Yes. Yeah. This is very important for guitar players to take note. Yeah. Do the color matching. Absolutely. Yes. I got the t-shirt yes. going with that. Well, we'll talk about this later. Taylor, let's right. let's hear that strat uh, in action a little okay. bit. Show off for us, please. Yeah. Okay. That should sell some strats. That, Perfect. Oh, oh, you got Perfect. Dylan singing. He that, was about to go. What, I was moved. You got him. I was moved. It was wild. Well, if he's not singing, he's not breathing. That's just Dylan. <laughs> right. That's really, this is yeah. how it is. Dylan, Dylan, what are you playing for us today? I think you're going to hold oh. up the acoustic end of the bargain, right? Yeah, I'm hold, I'm. I'm uh, bringing up the acoustic end here. You guys see this? This is really, this is quite a sight, isn't it? This is the yes. Acoustasonic three-tone sunburst. Oh. And it's the Strat, wow. Strat Acoustasonic. You know you know? Because of the headstock. It's got yes. the yep. the bulbous. That's one good way to tell. Yeah. I have right. the so, let's hear this. Oh, yeah. At home. Anyways, I, I it'll go yeah. to a dark place <laughs> if I do that whole thing. But you get the idea. You get the idea. Way to way to go, Dylan. And I have here the American Ultra Jazz Master. In Mocha Burst, oh Mocha God. Burst. Look at this, Finn. Wow. And I was just saying earlier, Mocha Burst in the seventies. That was my professional wrestling name. Yes, it was yes. A, in Florida. Oh God, it seems like a lifetime ago. Um, so this, I, I'm loving this thing. We got the P90s happening there. And anyone's uh, take, uh, keeping score at home, I'm using the, the Mustang GTX, and I'm using the Vibro King setting, which is number. Ooh. 58 on this one. I don't know what is on yours. And I didn't touch a thing. It's just I threw a little noise gate on there. So that's what I've... That's a nice got like a little it. hair on it. I like this tone. I like it. All right. So I'm excited. We've all got good tones. We've all got good colors. Uh, let's get to it. Now, we should clarify that hammer-ons and pull-ups are possible on both, like I said, electric and acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and we'll try to answer them. Now, let's start with hearing some hammer-ons and pull-offs. We've heard a few already. But Taylor, can you play something that uses these techniques? Anything of your choosing. Yeah. So, um, uh, okay, so we got... Beautiful. Now, that looks great. There's no, yeah. 
there's no guessing as to why we have you as the guest uh, instructor here to talk about hammer ons and pull offs because when, when you just you do that in your playing style without thinking it seems I do. I mean, <laughs> yes I mean it's just it's just it's how you play it's such yeah. a big part of your of your technique and your style your voice if, if you will yeah. so um, now to you just give us a basic definition of hammer on and a pull off um basically so when you're when you're hammering on basically the idea is that you want a very fluid sound so the the hammer-ons when you play one note and then you strike the next note next to it or you can go a whole note or mm-hmm. you can go up three frets if you want but it's to give it that fluid sound and that's what i think of like when i think about hammer-ons is just playing a note one pluck hammer on or striking the next note now when you pull off you're doing the reverse of the hammer on and so your finger is on release yeah so. got it and, and why are they used so much in guitar playing um it gives like more flavor i feel like mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. in guitar we have four fingers like <laughs> you know what i mean, I mean mm-hmm. sometimes five if you play with your thumb but yeah. um like we're so limited and so it's like we have to really um i guess like utilize little techniques like that in order to give across more of like a like um melodic and more legato like uh that's the sound. key word yeah that's yeah, it that's right dylan we were talking about this <laughs> tell us about this word, word legato dylan that's right we're going italian legato yes oh. of course of course <laughs> so uh it's italian uh i just happen to be italian as well so um it makes oh. sense that i would introduce the word it's, it's why i defer to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know but you know what it actually translated it means smooth and connected right so yeah. if you're thinking about uh and i want to take care of my beginners here if you're thinking about yeah the difference in the way a note decays or the way it stops right so mm-hmm. if i'm if i'm playing something and i have a section that goes the notes are separated with space in between each each note. Yeah, it sounds versus, like, like, ti- like being on tippy toes. Beep, beep, yeah, absolutely. Beep, beep, it sounds like, like a robot tight. is involved. Yeah. This would be a legato example of that same thing. Yeah. There's no space. Exactly. They're smooth and connected with each other, right? And so Very that good. is the definition of legato. Yeah. Okay, great. Back no, we you, already Eugene. have a question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that field report there. Um, make sure you take shelter. Those winds look nasty. Uh, Neil Absolutely. on YouTube is asking, are hammer-ons and pull-offs easier on electric or acoustic? Oh, Taylor, God. I'll let you take this one. Electric, for sure. <laughs> acoustic <laughs> requires <Yeah>. more effort. <laughs> now, why, and why is that? Well, electric is, uh, for one, you're probably dealing with like a different kind of neck. And then not only that, like on electric... I don't know. The strings are just a little bit more looser. Like I always feel a little slinkier, like a little slinkier mm. yeah. than it is. Like on acoustic, acoustic is a little more stiff. So you really have to put a lot of effort into what you're playing, which you know requires a lot of finger strength or like you know strength in you know being able to really squeeze that neck and get those notes out. You know. So, Good point. Now, for some of you out, there, some of you acoustic players out there, though, if you'd go with a lighter gauge string, which you can yeah. do with uh, acoustics, that could help. In fact, Dylan, uh, real quickly, just I have jump a in on an example. Uh, Oh, yes. the floor is yours, sir. I have a rebuttal. So, uh, I, it, and it's true, it is physically more difficult to hammer on initially on an acoustic, right? And I want to take care of the beginners here in the sense that you can look up these terms. Like, let's say we say hammer on or pull off or legato. Mm-hmm. There's a glossary on Fender Play that you can use to look any of these up if you're ever, uh, you know, just wanting to learn a little bit more about it. But, um, so, it's a little bit more physically difficult. However, when you get to the hammer on, there's something there to feel, so you're not pulling the string out of tune. So if I'm on an, an acoustic, I've got something to push up against when I'm hammering on. Mm-hmm. Now on an electric, you really do have to be, it's kind of like a finite instrument. You have to, it's working fine tuning. So it's yeah. really easy to kind of overshoot, right? So oh, in a you, sense, yeah, you if you're clumsy like me, yes. If you hammer on a, with a little too much strength on an on electric, you can, you can uh, uh, pull sharp. If you hit it too hard. No one's going to so like that. It requires a little more That's grace, right? right? Yeah. Now, Dylan, right. can you play us an example? This is, this is a song from the site uh, where we hear an, like an, a hammer-on from an open string to second fret on, uh, on uh, the intro to Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Do you oh. know that intro? I'm, throwing, I'm putting you on yeah. the spot. Uh, there you go. And that's the line that has the hammer-on in it, that pickup line. Right there, there you go. and that 
That is so a there's, crucial hammer. There's on. an example. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it makes it makes that intro it really legato does. more legato. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Neil, for that question. Uh, I appreciate that. Now, uh, Taylor, is this are there, is there any particular genre that you know that uses them a lot? The, the, these hammer ons and pull offs. No, like every genre, just about <laughs> they, they all <laughs> use them. Guitar, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be using them all the time, and I think like over time, like you, you kind of like you were saying in my playing, like you just do it and you don't realize it. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. It, mm-hmm. yeah. This is why we refer to it as an essential technique. Mm-hmm. Uh, this really is. You're gonna yeah. come across this. Yeah. You're gonna want to use this technique. So you may as well get get into it yeah. if you just picked up the guitar. We want to get you get you going early. Now, there's lots of courses on play teaching about hammer ons and pull offs. So check them out after the after the show. But now for some more questions, Mellow L asks, "Does the opening riff? I'm sorry, I can't see that, Perry. Thank you. Does the opening riff on the Cult's She Sells Sanctuary use a pull off or hammer on? This song is taught on Fender Play. In fact, I taught it, and I had to practice over and over how to say She Sells Sanctuary she sells <laughs> because that's a <laughs> sanctuary. Uh, longest afternoon. Is it really wow. She Sells Sanctuary? There's a, um, yeah. yes, I do. I believe it does, and." Uh, we're going to talk about the particular uh, hammer on and pull off there uh, because I believe it's on a, it's a really common one when you're making your open D chord. So even a lot of our beginners make this D chord here and we're playing the high E string at the second fret with our middle finger and we're going to use our pinky to just do this little thing on the third fret. So that's a hammer on pull off that's inside a chord. So good, uh, good, good call there. Also Rory Pyrie. Uh, saying you think playing Thunderstruck with hammer-ons and pull-offs is cheating? Oh, <gasps> Dylan, I think this Thunder. <laughs> I can't do it. Stay playing in the same part. <laughs> Anyways, Thunder. Is it cheating, Dylan? Uh, no, well, see, here's how it would sound. I, I think it's actually, uh... Boy, I don't. You know how are you going to run around it's the stage cheap. and wear those school school clothes with, if you're doing? Yeah, you got to do it. You have to do it. It's not. You got to jump up on Brian Johnson's <laughs> yeah. back. You got a whole lot. Yeah, to, yeah. No, uh, you got to. You it. know, yeah. Rory, it's he's definitely using hammer ons uh, and and pull offs for that intro. That's really why it sounds the way it does. So right. So good question. Okay, so we have a bit of context about what these techniques are, mm-hmm. but let's mm-hmm. now um, show uh, you what they can do on guitar. Let's start just with the simple stuff here. What are some super simple ways to use this technique, Taylor? Okay, so like when you are playing, like for instance, let's say I'm in a, of course, a minor seven. I've been going to that because that's pretty common. That's your chord. That's, <laughs> that's yeah, <laughs> that, and it's like really common. Like a lot of people yeah. use it, and so like I figured people would see it, they would know. Like <laughs> yeah. So like when you're playing, and like let's say you want to give like more of like a, like I said, so you got that hammer on. You know what I mean? And so, mm-hmm. like, you get more of, like, a singing type of tone more so than, like, you know. And then what you can do is you can take it and you can put it in um, your chords. And so mm-hmm. that same concept. You know what I mean? And so mm-hmm. you can build from there. It's so many things that you can do. You know what I mean? Like... It just sounds way more like fluid. Right. right, and I can see like y- your your strum hand is striking the picks almost a third yeah. of the amount of notes I'm hearing. Yeah, which means you're you're you're, right, you're, you're gaining more notes. Yeah, using the fret hand with the yeah. hammer on with pull the off. The hammer you're on pull more. off. Yeah, it gives you more leeway. It gives you more. You, you don't always want to re- rely on your picking hand so much, like because mm-hmm. what that does is that that limits you to how fast you can move your pick at that time. Like hammer ons and pull offs really definitely help you get more notes in. For less mm-hmm. effort so it's definitely like we said again an essential technique <laughs> that's that's a great tip yeah. dylan is there a simple exercise though you know that you know that for getting used to this just physically for the beginner yeah yeah so uh and this is in path on fender play and it's also you can go to the course on hammer ons just type in hammer on you're gonna get tons of stuff and there's a whole course on how to learn these from i, I always say this every week for, but from soup to nuts so if it seems like it's impossible right now like every goal, we break it down to in a bunch of pieces and then we we learn each piece. But there's an anatomical thing I want to teach you guys about. So if, if I'm yes. playing just this open first string and I'll pick it, right? That's It starts with mm-hmm. the picking initially. 
I'm gonna hammer on the second fret, which just literally means I'm gonna take like almost like a uh, if you you know snap your finger, I'm gonna snap it on yeah. there. Now that's that's that most people can do that right out of the gate mm -hmm. and pull off with their first and second fingers. It's when you get to these two cats, and that's why I wanted to do something. You ready for this? Yeah. The claw. Yes. Oh, you're so excited. The what? I'm the sorry. claw. So you create claw. a claw with your fingers, right? And you you develop this claw, and you can, you don't even have to be holding guitar. You could do this anywhere. You could do it inappropriately at the bank. And anyway, so <laughs> by creating a claw and putting these two fingers together, because they are attached by a ligament, you can you can get that mm -hmm. same kind of traction. Because these two are pretty weak on their own, but combined in the claw, yeah. they are able to. The claw. They're able to master this. And then as you move up the fretboard, you're always sort of thinking of these two as a unit. And that's what allows okay. you to just get across the uh, the, fin the the first steps on this. Mm -hmm. So it, hel it helps you start with some hand strength right there. So you have this really it confident does. hammer on yeah. pull off sound. And you do that at the bank, Dylan? Is this why you're always asking me to be a cosigner? <laughs> that's why I'm not allowed in the bank anymore. Uh, yeah, you know? exactly. Well, yeah. Okay, well, we cracked that code. Great. Yeah. Now, Taylor, you mentioned playing... <laughs> You mentioned playing hammer-ons and pull-offs on chords, so let's dig into that a little bit more. Here's some some simple examples how we're going to add hammer-ons and pull-offs to chords uh, to add some flavor. Now this is now I play a lot of country and rockabilly, so we can take our E major chord, our first position E major chord right here, and with my index finger I'm playing the first fret G string. That's why it's a G major. And if I hammer on from open G to that first, we get this really cool. Yeah. And when you're doing like kind of. The, So we, we've already kind of got, the, we got a little dust on our E major chord there, just with a simple hammer on. And again, we don't have to learn a new chord position at all. We are, we're already going to play this this full chord here, but it was a great old Johnny Rivers lick. That was the first one, the first licks I ever learned on guitar. So no, that's, I, that, I that's like a good, it. Yeah. Can, can, you, can you guys think of other examples though of, of, uh, of chords where we hammer on inside that open chord? Uh, go ahead. Oh, me? Oh, okay. Oh. Um, oh, you go. <laughs> All right. Well, then I, here I'll show you. I'll show you guys a song from the site that does it. There's, uh, you guys might recognize this, Diddy. Uh. So right out of the gate, you can hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's what uh, Taylor has done quite a bit going on she's getting this sound it's, it's like a really smooth connection between what is actually its own independent chord into yeah. and you see this a lot with a minor seven yeah mm -hmm. right uh you see it like eugene was saying with e major um if if i can i'll 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 play a melody with without using hammer-ons that normally has hammer-ons in it because it's 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 copying a human voice and then use it with hammer-ons so just to kind of illustrate that a little bit more so this would be amazing grace, right? Mm -hmm. All picking. Less amazing. Less amazing. Right now, here, here it is with hammer-ons. really do bring the music to the plane yeah and that's that's mm -hmm. what taylor was talking about earlier they really they yeah. just they bring the human element to it you know yeah that sounded beautiful by the way thank I'm you learn that's, that, and, and amazing grace is on the site so you got your <laughs> it is. right now, this question comes right. from the from the uh yeah. fender play community uh ramon dominguez is asking taylor are nylon strings easier or better for pull-offs and hammer-ons oh golly <laughs> no, dylan's got to take a, a knee as, he's, he's winded as far <laughs> Yes, I mean nylon to me personally, nylon is is easier for everything. 
<laughs> I mean, I the agree. only thing, the neck, of course, is thicker. Like, is like mm-hmm. the width is, is thicker. But, like, in terms of being able to achieve the sound, yes, yep. nylon will definitely get you that sound way easier than electric or acoustic. Absolutely. Yeah, Ramon, if, yeah, if you have access to a nylon string guitar, if anybody does, uh, not a bad way to start. Yeah. Just to get the mechanics down, mm-hmm. and then you kind of just bump up to the uh, to the steel, steel strings later on. So, yeah. Also, Eric Lindsay is asking, uh, and, and Taylor, I think you should take this because you do this a lot. Uh, what are your favorite chords with a hammer-on edition? Oh, yeah. oh my God. I use hammer-ons in almost all my chords. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Give us a few examples. I do, like, okay, so, like, for instance, like, when I play um, a nine, like, I might play, like, a, you know, an E major nine, or E flat major nine. You'll hear it in that, or I can take it, and, like, it's really cool when you play with, like, inverted chords, or chords that mm. are kind of, like, you know, the notes are more rearranged, um, or for, for, for simpler terms, like, I'll use it for, like, if I play, um... <laughs> Like you were talking about earlier, mm-hmm. having E major. Oh, there you go. Or you can have like, um, you know, when you play, uh, even if you play like a major chord, like if you have like a A major, and then you can simply instead of playing second, third, and fourth, just bar the second fret, and then yeah. And then if you want to take it a step further, then you can. You know what I mean? And if you want to take it a step further than that, you know, then you can really get, and that's, that's really like essentially why, like I said, like when you play it in simpler terms, you get used to hearing that in the sound and you're able to kind of implement it in, in steps. But I, Excellent. I we, yeah. we, mm-hmm. we train our own ear yeah. Yeah, to want to hear point. that and how to make it. Yeah. 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 So, and then and Neil Stern is asking on YouTube that can you hammer, well, actually this lead, you just showed us there, uh, Taylor, can you hammer on or pull off the whole chords or just individual notes? So certainly we can do it with whole chords. Yeah. And, we, and we're going to go into some demonstrations now of some songs on the site that kind of use a few. Dylan, you've got a couple mm-hmm. lined up right here. So oh, yeah. um, I think you, you've got like a, an Alabama shakes groove that you're gonna you're gonna do, do from the site, right? This, uh, go ahead, boys, take it. Oh, oh God. there That's we the go. Band. Oh, he's got the band. Uh, okay, great. okay, thank you. So. <laughs> There's a pull off between uh, another one of those notes there, and that's like that's kind of the the juice to that riff in a lot of ways is mm-hmm. is the hammer on sound. It, it's it's mm-hmm. so deviated from the other riff, which is these short kind of staccato notes separated by long and short notes, and so it's kind of what makes that riff like stand out and you know really kind of get stuck in your ear for a while there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I it is. It's part of the hook. It's a great part. Here's here's a, a example from the site as well. This is a rolling. Now, uh, Taylor, you had mentioned like this A. You bar the chord, and you do this little yeah on the B string. And of course, if we add the D string a whole step at the same time, we get this. Yeah. So this is a tr- major triad barring across, and then you do this hammer on. And of course, this is. This very, if you want to stones up your playing, just do this anywhere. Get that one down now. So, in honky tonk women, we see this in the verse. I don't have the open Keith tuning, of course, so bear with me. But that right here, great example. Yeah, yeah, that one. Here's that. That D major thing we showed her. Yeah. And, then, and then another hammer on on the A string. Yeah. And Don't then, um, what? Go ahead. It's like he's trying to sound like a horn section almost. You know yeah. what I mean? With those, <laughs> oh, yeah. Those voices yeah. moving and the way they're moving. You know, one, there's yeah. staccato and the other one's short. Legato, staccato. Or hammer yeah. on. Really good and, point. Uh, pick. Well, you know, yeah. I'm a nut for talking about guitars trying to sound like other instruments. And we'll get to that yeah, later right. in the episode, but I'm glad you pointed You're right. It's kind of like a little three piece horn section. There. Yeah. Like a three piece horn. 
Yeah, very very horn section. Um, yeah. Dylan, what's what's your other uh, what's your other de- well, uh, demonstration? Yeah, so this is this is as Taylor was saying earlier. This is a multi genre style, right? right? So this is this is all over the place. Uh, there is no genre that can escape the hammer on and pull off. But no. um, basically, <laughs> there's a song on the site that's a Soundgarden song. That's a really good example of this. Uh, What happened is I was really sly because while uh, Eugene was playing, I tuned my guitar down to drop D. And hammer-ons and pull-offs are one of the big Mm -hmm. secrets to drop D. Because now you only have to do this, right? Oh. So you get it. There's just like, it it starts to really open up this door of of you being able to sort of... uh, rely on hammer-ons and pull-offs in an even new way when you start mm-hmm. working on them with open tunings. So it's yeah. another call. venue. Yeah. Here's my last demonstration of this would be uh, a Led Zeppelin tune that we have on the site, Bring It On Home, which is on the second album. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's an E, and this is, this is open A and open D string for the original riff. <laughs> but even there on the G string. Yeah. It's a couple hammer-ons there. Can you imagine if so you showed up and played that without the hammer-ons? I think people would... Here, so here it is. They, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop. Stop it. No. Oh. What? Is that, is that, is that not good? <laughs> My dog ran out of the room. He's gone. <laughs> Matt B asks, can you do hammer-ons and pull-offs while barring Taylor? What say you? Yes. <laughs> you can do hammer-ons. Yes. <laughs> you can pull-offs. She says, that's all I do. That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> in everything. I'm so serious. You can play it in chords. You can play it in any genre, any anything. So it's like, um, I'm trying to think. Um, like when you, uh, for instance, what I'll do if I play like a, um, so I don't know why E flat is my key today, guys. But hey. you just, you're, feel, you're feeling E flat. That's fine. That you. You know you can. So now you're hammering on to the B string. So if you want to do it to where it sounds more um, fluid, so let, let, let's let's take one note for example. You got E major seven. Now we got E major seven with a pull off on the high E. And then you can you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Way more better, well, more flavorful sound. Right. But same flavorful. Chord. Flavorful. Flavor. That's the thing. I like it. You know what I mean? And then Yeah, and when yeah. we're barring, say like a like a an E shape uh A chord at the, the fifth fret, this guy right here. Again, back to the country and rockabilly days, for flavor. My pinky will hammer on the B string from fifth fret to seventh fret. Put the sixth in there. Yeah. And then a little sus, the little sus on the G. Yeah. Yeah. And a very Don Rich sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's so that's another thing that you can do inside a bar chord with some hammer on pull offs and pretty much stay in that shape. So it's a, it's a nice little workout there. Shout out to Megatod707 saying this is awesome. How come I didn't know about this channel? Love it. <laughs> Megatod, yeah. I'm sorry. We'll, Megatod. We'll, we'll pay the ransom next time. We didn't I, we didn't well, know you yeah, were here. Wow. <laughs> we're just glad you're here. Yeah. We're glad you're here, yeah. Megatod. Uh, Megatod. Now and uh, so any other last crazy things that we can do with hammer ons and pull offs before we get to the homework? Um, trills. Taylor, yeah. Well, trills. trills. Talk, talk about oh, trills. Trills. You know, you play like trills. We... <laughs> you know, that's just hammering on and pulling off. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, you know what I mean. But again, like, we're we're emulating the human voice when we do that. That's sort of like an opera trick, yeah. right? In a way. Right. Um, and so the tip on that is 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 just learn you know a, a nice little single note, one fret away. 
and, and learn it slowly, right, Dylan? Yeah. Get that going a little bit. Sl again, slow becomes smooth. Smooth becomes fast. Yes. <laughs> and then and you just kind of build up the speed. Yeah, so the be speed. forgiving of yourself and be patient. Uh, Dylan, what kind of crazy things can you do with hammer-ons and pull-offs? Yeah, boy. I mean, most of the stuff that you guys have heard on guitar that seemed really sort of showmanshipy is is probably hammer-on, pull-off, or legato playing related. So uh, mm -hmm. it could be... Uh, hammer-ons with string skipping so let's see so that's basically like <laughs> wow or we could have uh where you're you know it's technically finger tapping is considered hammer-on give, you know, yeah. give us, no, give us a heavy metal one. tone no give us dylan oh, do, you want, do you want me to play what? the other guitar you want me to well yeah no let's do this right i want i want the, I want the kids to know that, right. that this can uh this All can right, be extended now, cover to your the, ears right. oh, well, okay. oh boy oh jeez. <laughs> oh here he goes Okay, so that's obviously hammer-ons. Uh, the same thing, you can just take any shape. Here's a big here's a big trick for uh, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, whatever. So take any <laughs> shape and just repeat it on each string using hammer-on. So So that's literally just This is the Van Halen technique. So that's that's all hammer on related, right? So wow, this could really do a lot for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. You know, I was very short in high school. I was very oh short. So I had another angle. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was <laughs> that was that was like a, a diaper fight of notes going that on there. Yeah, it was, that was, I don't know what happened. So, <laughs> it's all a blur. Yeah. <laughs> so here's another one again, emulating other instruments, um, like uh, bagpipes or sitar. Those like have these really crazy oh, legato yeah. things. So if you use a certain scale. Oh, wow. Wow. There's a little Jeff Beck thing right there. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, kind of use your imagination. Once you get these techniques underneath, you know, kind of, you know, use it to kind of push outside mm -hmm. there and, and, uh, and uh, try and uh, think... Think outside the box, as they say. That's of course, cool. if you use that phrase, you're probably not thinking outside the box. Um, okay, it's time before we get to the uh, the homework. Taylor, can you just show off for us one more time? Okay. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Send us home with some inspiration. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Transported. <laughs> Transported. Mellow. <laughs> smooth. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thanks. I rounded Thank out the so sitar much. thing earlier. That's good. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, Dylan, do you mind do you mind assigning the homework tonight? Absolutely. It'd be my pleasure. So uh, uh this has been fantastic. And Taylor is a if you haven't noticed, is a wonderful guitar player and an, a light of a person, right? Oh, um, and, yes, and it's and, the hammer -ons. And an and an instructor. Yes. She's, an, oh, she's an instructor yes. on the site. Yeah. You've got to go to the R&B path because it's Taylor. <laughs> it's Taylor centric. <laughs> she's the ambassador. She's like, of yeah, she, she walks us. She does. You, you, you walk, you walk everyone through the R&B path. Yes. So that's so right. Happy yeah. to have that's you right. On board. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so we, we one hammer on a time. To the homework. Uh, yeah. So, so anyways, <laughs> but if you are, if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, 
And your member offender play, we've got a big community online on, the, on our Facebook page, and it's a really awesome safe space. And believe it or not, I'm in there every single day. And these two folks are in, intermittently in there as well. And so we'd love if you take this homework and you post yourself playing it on the site. And don't be, don't be bashful because everybody uh, supports right. each other. If you're a beginner, hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, with the E minor pentatonic scale. I believe that's the first exercise within the course for hammer on and pull offs yes. uh, that's in that's correct. path. Yes. So mm -hmm. this is going to be, I'll, I'll let you go to that and check it out and it'll, it'll piecemeal the whole thing. Okay. So now if you're intermediate, learn Hold On by Alabama Shakes. Specifically, uh, and what's really cool about this is if you have the Fender Tune app, you can grab the drum set and, and bring up just the rock drums, right? And set oh, them that's off. hip. And you'll be able to time, work on your hammer ons getting in time, which honestly, if you, if you hear a beginner and you hear a, a player that's got some experience, it's the timing with the hammer-ons that really mm -hmm. you go, okay, wait a minute, that that person's been playing for a while, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if yeah. intermediate, uh, hold on by Alabama Shakes. Advanced, take your favorite riff. Uh, Eugene came up with this. Take your favorite riff and play it with hammer-ons, right? Mm -hmm. So my favorite riff is. my favorite riff i sing it every day in the shower so if i did that yeah. without with hammer-ons oh i'm gonna have to work on this oh gosh oh you've got homework oh my gosh okay so i can't do it i can't do it but that, we'll all post our videos <laughs> oh, okay? Yeah, that's okay that's it that's the homework all right all right there you go so post it now uh we're gonna move on to the fender play segment so dylan you're still on you're 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 uh you're not oh, off golly. the hook you've got tons okay, of you've gosh. got tons of giveaway now all right okay so Every week, we give away a piece of gear to a lucky Fender Play subscriber simply for being on Fender Play for a minimum of 21 minutes or three seven-minute sections called streaks. You might have noticed those pop up if you're using Fender Play. Uh, you get, if you get picked and you're automatically entered to win, you don't have to do anything except use the app, right? So you're, uh, you're automatically entered to win. If you get picked, I might get to call your name at the end of the episode. You get to pick from guitars, amps, basses. There's all kinds of gear. And hopefully, I get to pick your name. Are you guys want to hear who won this week? Yes. yes. Trill like me open in. G trill me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, trill me out. Let's go. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here we go. Richard T. Richard T. Richard Yay. T. Way to go. Congratulations. Yeah, Richard T. <laughs> It would be crazy if it was Richard. actually Richard Thompson, one of my favorite guitar players of all time. Oh, my God. Um, congrats to you, Richard. Enjoy your new bass, yeah. guitar, He's and ukulele. Whatever it, is, whatever it is you choose. Congratulations, Richard. Back to you, Dylan. Okay. Just really quickly, I want to point you guys to the new stuff that's on the site. So one of the new songs that's on the site is actually a really great song. Um, this is a, it's called Just to See You Smile by Tim McGraw. Taught on the site for you beginners, this is. It's going to lay this out piecemeal. You'll learn piece by piece. You'll yeah. be able to play through this song by the end of it. And that's the great. That's the great thing about it. Another one I, I want to put a teacher on that one. Are you? I think you might be I actually so. too because I I looked <laughs> yeah. it up before. Uh, uh, there's Tom Morello collection on the site. You've got to yeah. check it out. It's so cool. It's got him as the intro. I worshipped Tom Morello growing up. I mean, I had a shrine. It was really creepy thinking back. Oh, on yeah, yeah, anyways, it was a whole yeah, thing. It was really bad. But um, yeah, <laughs> Lightning Over Mexico. There's tons of songs on there. You guys have got to check out the Tom Morello collection. So that's it. Talk, talk about a player who takes hammer on and pull offs and other basic techniques and really pushes the instrument. Talk about that's using right. a guitar to sound like other things. That's the cat. Yeah, um, yeah no, he really I is. Wanna, yeah. Huge thank you to Taylor Gamble for helping us today. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to hear what you have coming up. And if, if you leave anything out, Dylan and I are going to. We're, we're going to add it in there. So what do you have coming up to? <laughs> I don't like saying that. I know I'm you don't. scared I'm going to jinx it. Come, come on. Come I'm on. I'm scared I'm going to jinx it. If you want to know what's coming up, just follow me on Instagram. And that's at Okay. And what's your handle? Good call. Taylor. No O. T-A-Y-L-R. The T-H-E. The letter G. Just follow okay. me and I will give you... What's coming up? I just don't like saying it. Like I said. Okay, like, I get it. No, you no, don't want to jinx okay. it. 
because it's That's really right. good. Like it's really good. I'm always like that. I don't know what that is like with me. Well, of course, but, we we hope we hope the best for you. Yeah, so but you can always don't go back on Hulu, Netflix. Well, not Netflix. Hulu, um, YouTube, Ooh. a bunch of other platforms, and watch me on Alter Ego. That was really oh yeah, really cool. So yeah, there you go. Must have been. And and let's not forget the R and B path. Again, yes. Everyone can see you there in the RB path. You're you're the first face we see, and thank you so much for for again for uh, being the uh, the cruise director for that path. Oh, I will uh, say Ken this: mm-hmm. you'll see me on the Super Bowl commercial if you watch. <gasps> I'm not going to tell you which one. I just see That's for oh, no, it's kind of like a Where's Waldo, <laughs> but with Taylor. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> the biggest televised watch event the of the Super year. Bowl. I really? Am okay. The Super Bowl yeah. commercial. I Safe it. to say, most of us are going to yeah. be watching the Super Bowl. So that'd be yeah. We may as well yeah. look for our buddy Taylor. Yes. That's a great call. Look for me and <laughs> well, and tag you, me Dylan. when you see me. So you got okay. <laughs> Everyone, tag Taylor when you see her on the Super Bowl commercial. Yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, is it Doritos? I'm just going to start guessing. Oh, I think it's no. Lay's. Did you get a car? Lay's. All right. No. It's, yeah. um, everybody, and again, uh, thank you, Dylan. We'll be back here next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Everybody, please keep safe, keep practicing, and see you next week. Let's go out on a G chord. Let's throw some hammer on and pull offs appropriately here or type the capital G in the comment section on the count of four. One, two, three, four.